I was in Safety Harbor, Florida uh, with uh, Pastor Tom, I'll say his name, and um, after a Sunday morning leading worship with his church, a good-sized church there, we sat and had lunch together. He said, tell me about your last position you were in in Wichita, Kansas. I said, I was the equipping and assimilation pastor. What did you do, he said. And as I began talking about my responsibilities as well as my you know, my direction and calling that God was giving me for uh, that particular area of ministry, he just kept asking questions. All the while, I'm thinking, I'm just going to be a, I'm just going to be a recording artist and a worship leader. And my position in Wichita was the equipping, assimilation, and leadership development pastor, which came out of my passion uh, from a spiritual gifts class years before that. Well, when we were finished talking, Pastor Tom says to me, hey, have you ever written any of this down? Have you ever, have you, have you organized all of what you, we've been talking about that you were doing at Central Community? I said, no, I'm a recording artist, remember? And he said, I want to challenge you in something. I want you to take what you're sharing with me and I want you to create a, an experience for my staff. And I want you to come back to Safety Harbor, Florida, and present that. I said, this is like in 2001, 2002. I said, I am not a presenter. I'm a Christian recording artist and a worship leader. He said, I know. But what I, if, if it's true what you're telling me God is showing you about a way to orchestrate and, and lead a church, I want you to come back and flesh that out in front of me, in front of my people, and I want to hear more about this. So six months later, I flew back to Safety Harbor, and I presented the first ever Building the Church of His, His Dreams. And it's a Friday evening and a Saturday experience for the entire church, but specifically for those who could make changes and decisions and a difference in the life of a church, uh, leaders of some kind. It is not a church growth um, conference. This is not about growing a church to a certain size or it's not a program approach as much as it is capturing the heart of leaders to be the church God intended for us to be. So the opening session is all about what kind of church do we see in God's word? Does God pour out his anointing and blessing? We read in Haggai that there was a group of people that because of their disobedience, God blew away their crops. He dried up their streams. He cut holes in their pockets to put money into because of their disobedience. So that and other passages of Scripture were teaching me, you know, there is a direction and a certain kind of church that God pours out His anointing. And there are kinds of churches that God just removes His hand and said, don't even associate my name with that the way you treat people, and so forth. So this opening session is all about what would it look like to be a church that God would bless and He would anoint.